Have you ever watched streamers or content creators and noticed that their lobbies seem to be a lot easier than yours? Have you noticed that uh, the players that they're shooting at don't seem to shoot back or even look in their direction? That's because quite a lot of them are manipulating the skill based matchmaking system. And there's a very big majority of people that genuinely believe that the gameplay they're watching from these streamers and content creators is legit gameplay. They genuinely believe that they are that good at the game. However, they're just basically lying to their uh, audience. Now look, I get it. Not every game you play, you want to just have to sweat your absolute box off and feel like you're playing a CDL match every single time. You don't want to come home from work and have to just straight away jump into the game and just basically try straight off the rip. You can't just have a casual experience. But I also see the other side of it, whilst why skill-based matchmaking is in the game. It's there to protect the newer players so they don't have a bad experience uh, as well. So yes, look, COD definitely does need some form of skill-based matchmaking in its game. However, I don't think it needs to be as strong as it is. There needs to be a lot more variety and enjoyment. But the problem with content creators is they're just simply lying to their fans and their audience by just tricking them with this gameplay. And it's very easy to tell when these streamers and that are doing this if you just pay close attention. You'll notice when they're searching for a match, they'll either put their uh, screen, they'll take it off their monitor and, and put it on them so you can't actually see them searching for a match. That's because they're using the two box method. And then also another thing a lot of people do, um, content creators do, now I saw this in the prestige race, quite a lot of um, them were actually doing this. They would party up with a group of players but these players had actually tanked their stats. Yes, they were high prestige in that, but they had a low score per minute and a low KD. And what this was doing was allowing them to actually get into a lot easier games. And you would have seen them actually get a couple nukes here and there, and that's because they were doing this. If they had loaded up into games strictly by themselves without um, manipulating the matchmaking system, I guarantee the entirety of the game, they would have basically just just gone positive or struggled to go, on po go positive. Another thing is there's a couple of people who actually stream and you'll notice their gameplays, they don't like get a lot of nukes. Yeah, they have some good moments, this and that. But then after, uh, you'll notice off stream, they'll upload a YouTube video, this and that. And it'll be, you know, them getting amazing nuke or, you know, how to get insanely fast kills. But they do that off stream. They do that because they go off stream, they two box, get these clips, and then they upload it and tell people how good they are. If you don't know what two boxing is, basically it's where you have a second console. You've completely tanked the stats on that console. You then search for a match um, with your tanked account. Then once that tanked account gets into a lobby, um, you can't be searching with this account, it needs to actually join a lobby by itself. You then join that bot account off your main account and then you back out that bot account and your main account is essentially in a lobby, a 0.05 KD lobby. And it's actually insane, insanely easy to drop nukes like it's nothing. Let me know your take on this topic down below, the skill-based matchmaking and two streamers two boxing. What's your thoughts on it? What's your take? Um, look, I genuinely, I do think that skill-based matching matching does have a place in Call of Duty, um, definitely in ranked play. But for like multiplayer or public, I definitely think it doesn't need to be as strong as it is. I think there needs to be a lot more variety. So not every single game feels like you're playing ranked play. Like it's it's pubs for a reason. You're there to do challenges, camos, have a bit of fun. Maybe have the option to drop a nuke. That's the thing. A lot of people don't have the option to drop a nuke. The majority of people dropping them are people that are two boxing or bypassing the skill-based matchmaking in some form. So yeah, let me know your take on this whole topic.